Hi, I'm David Dulock, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Chris. He asks, are there any new web features in iOS 9? Well, if you're a web developer who is focused on mobile interface like myself, iOS 9 is a huge deal. It brings a lot of great new features that allow you to create experiences that feel much more native and answers a lot of frustrations that have been issues in the past. Scroll snapping is a really exciting example. Content and image carousels are a very popular web component, and there are tons of JavaScript carousel implementations out in the wild. But scroll snapping allows you to create carousels with CSS only. You can now simply add scroll snap type to the parent element and specify snap coordinates on the children, and you have a very native feeling carousel. Another addition is backdrop filters. Backdrop filters add the ability to live blur content below an element, which of course is a very heavily used native style that was introduced in iOS 7. If you have a new iPhone 6S, then you know about the new 3D touch interactions that various apps have implemented. In iOS 9, you can now latch onto 3D touch events and create depth-based interactions to your website or web app. Other notable wins are the ability to do HTML5 picture-in-picture -picture video, universal links that can open your native app with intents, and Siri searchable content. These are all great enhancements, and if you are working with Cordova, the release of iOS 9 is even more exciting. WK WebView was a huge part of iOS 8's release, but if you are a Cordova developer, file level security has kept you locked out of all this greatness. WK WebView brings massive performance boost to your Cordova app. In fact, while testing one of our apps that had very heavy animation, CPU usage dropped from 100% to around 10% and the memory usage dropped just as significantly. So if you are bumping up against performance limitations, you now have a lot more room to grow. Having WK WebView in Cordova also allows you to use live scroll position events, which enables pull to refresh animations, over scroll animations, and even parallax animations without the need for a JavaScript scroll replacement such as iScroll. That's it for this episode. As always, tweet your questions with hashtag askadev or just leave them in the comments.